Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW. And today, once again, we're traveling around the state to state. Today, our day is in Delaware. Let's see what's going on in Delaware. South American theft groups or crime tourists, and they are hitting Newcastle County, Delaware. The group of highly organized crime rings traveling from state to state, committing burglaries and theft. And they often target expensive homes, many owned by Asian Americans. Police issuing the latest warning after two repro reports of burglaries over the weekend. Our Kelly Rule spoke with one of the victims. It's going to hurt to lose that money. Joshua White. So they're going state to state, hitting Asian communities. So it has to be someone that's Asian. They say South African, so you never know. Let's check them out says he was with his parents and younger brother at their family restaurant Hong Hang Saturday afternoon when their Wilmington home in a quiet tucked away cul-de-sac was targeted for the second time. He gave us this video showing a person with their hood up, gloves on, masked up, peering in their doors and windows and eventually getting one open. Then the camera moves. And in this video provided by Newcastle County Police, you can see the person leaving the home with items. Huang says worth thousands of dollars. They were also robbed of jewelry in November of last year. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating to get robbed again. And it makes me wish that this time we can actually catch them so then we can get our money back, you know. Newcastle County Police say the burglary on Wild Cherry Lane was one of approximately 20 this year connected to South American theft groups or crime tourists. They are working with police across the East Coast, currently looking for these four individuals. They say the group is highly organized and travel from state to state to commit burglaries and thefts, often watching and targeting expensive homes. They're also, you know, crafty with bringing tools, whether it be a window punch to knock out a slider or a ladder to access a second story window. They're leaving behind electronics and other stuff that can be tracked. So if they got a ladder and tools, that means this car is waiting on them outside or they just they going state to state. They they have to have a car. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, <laughs> anyway, so let's let you know. Lock your doors. Lock your houses up. Keep your eye open because even with cameras now, you see they still getting whatever they want. He's walking out now with their material and he turned their camera. That's crazy. Trying to take just jewelry, um, precious metals, cash. Um, designer bag stuff that you know will really fetch a, a decent price on the black market so far detectives say they arrested these five individuals they also have reason to believe the group is targeting business owners and people of asian descent huang has a message for the thieves just because we are asian doesn't mean we have a lot of money you come rob us all right just because we're asian we have a restaurant doesn't mean we have a lot of money all right we worked hard to get that money and losing it again for a second time it's really frustrating police are encouraging homeowners so they've been robbed once install cameras so they can catch the thieves that's coming in but it doesn't prevent them from coming in so you got to have a prevention tool set up somewhere some trip wires anything of that such it, you know i hate they've been targeted and and just it's a different way of uh committing the crime and the and, and with these people being targeted so uh it, it just this is Delaware. I'm going state to state, different crimes, get bring awareness to crimes that's going on in different states. And this is a South American ring that they have that they targeting Asian descents. So thank you for joining me. I'm your host, NJW. This has been